All right, guys, so this is our electric motor after it's gone through our VPI vacuum pressure impregnation tank, dipped in a Class H varnish, and then baked in an oven to harden this varnish. So this is what is protecting our winding thermally and making it extremely rigid. You can see I can wipe this green grease off, and I put that on there so that the varnish doesn't stick anywhere I do not want it to stick. I do need to clean up all the excess varnish that's dripped inside of that, and we're going to use that drum sander to clean it up. People seem to be really concerned about my health, but do know that I am wearing a mask, I am reading MSDS sheets, things like that. We also want to be careful that we don't damage our fertility or unborn child. It was an extremely nice day out in Wisconsin, so I decided to do this by the garage door. So we're going to open up. This is a buttering material. This is a CR1034 Dolph buttering mix. This is going to encapsulate our winding. It will make this winding waterproof, dustproof, dirtproof. The customer requested that we do this, and people were kind of looking at me funny when they were driving by. I was probably giving them Heisenberg vibes. You can see how the texture, the viscosity of this has changed after we've mixed both part A and B, and now we can start applying this to the winding. We're not using anything fancy, nothing other than that buttering stick or paint stick, whatever you want to call it. I think in a different life, if I wasn't fixing electric motors, I probably would have been really good at frosting cakes. We want to make sure that we're pushing this through the winding so you can see how it's starting to push through from the other side and then we're going to go on top of that. We'll use some xylene to go ahead and smooth this out. Now you can see how glossy the finish of this looks. Not that it really matters because everything's going to be covered up anyway. I'm still going to have to go back one more time with the drum sander so we can get it off the lamination stack inside. But after about two hours you can see this thing's hardened pretty hard. Cheers guys.